Good morning and uh, welcome to the Charles Ian Persico Show brought to you by White Over Bush live on Facebook and also YTV. My name's Anton Persico <coughs> and Charles the sun is shining, the weather is sweet, we're in uh, grand final day. How are the nerves? Oh, no nerves at all. I mean, it's not me running out there and playing. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's going to be a great day down there at the park. There's three, four games of rugby. Beautiful conditions. The sun's out. Can't wait. It's going to be great. Yeah, it's a big one. Greytown versus Carterton for the Moose Carpenter Cup final. That kicks off at 3.15 uh, today. And also live stream coverage starts at uh, 12.50 uh, on their reserve grade final as well. So um, if you can't get down to the ground today, uh, make sure you tune in on the live stream and keep up to date with the scores. Now, uh, Charlesy, we've been treated again from Bevan from the offering. These are absolutely sensational uh, toasty sandwiches here, and he's brought us a few new ones. Yeah, we've got week. the Yankee Doodle. Yeah, that's the Yankee Doodle. Have a bite of that. Oh, well, I went to town riding on a pony. It's mac and cheese. Oh, and bacon. Mm. And then we've got, we got the Elvis. Well, since my baby left me, I found a new Cut. place to... And the Ross, the Roscoe. Ross Taylor. Yeah, it's a good one as well. So, Paul, Paul. guys, make sure you uh, get down to the yeah. offering uh, this morning. Grab your toasted sandwich and then head to the rugby because it is going to be a pretty epic day and we've been waiting for this one for a while. Now, um, Corey James picked the score, $1,500 winner last week. Charlesy, you presented him with a cheque today. Mm. And look, there's a few <coughs> chins in the photo too. You and Corey are uh, both um, some storing them up. Good. Mm. But thank you to Corey James and Toomey ITM. for uh, Well, he won the $1,500. Yep. You know, he took it in, into his personal bank account. But look... They've come through with a prize for the uh, pick the score today. Yep, ITM Tumu, uh, a five hundred dollar pick box. the score boom box. So uh, plus five hundred cash from from Ziggy's glass. Now the five hundred cash is going to come in the way of dollar coins. Ziggy was telling me on the phone yesterday. I called him for the sponsorship. Really? Yeah, I called him for the sponsorship, and he is like, if any if any bugger wins it, they're going to get dollar coins. So. Uh, enjoy five hundred one dollar coins and also a boombox as well. Well, money is money. You can have a party with a boombox and count all your coins at the same time. So thank you very much, Ziggy's Glass, and also um, Tumu ITM Masterton uh, for all their support on that too. That's pretty epic stuff, Charlesy. Now we're going to announce the Lone Star <laughs> Legend of the Week. Yes, we are. This man here helped us out all season. Kevin here. Tell us what he's done for us. Pesca. Look, he does all of our slides. He posts the show on Facebook. He um, just generally, if you ever call Kevin and need some information about rugby in the past, present, future, um, he's got the answers. And he sorted us out our technical glitches when the show was taken off Facebook. That's right. We, we That's didn't right. know why, whether it was Persico making his slurs about certain people or whatnot, but uh, actually Kevin sorted that out. Yep. And look, Toby, me. the producer, is a legend as well, because Toby's listening to the show now, but um, Toby, we like Kevin just a little bit better. Um, okay, now let's go into the Lewis Bush Files. Now, the bushy, files. the bushy Files, here he is. We've um, been chatting about him all year. He seems to pop up uh, every week in the photos. And, Chelsea, I just need you to explain one thing to me here. What the heck is Lewis Bush doing before this game running out of the field? Well, look, here's Zach Guilford beside him. The other, other than having a great affection for Zach, he's sort of poking his chest out towards him. Uh, it looks like Lewis has run out into the, uh, the paddock and spring. And he's like a lamb. Look, he's running out. He's like, bah, bah. <laughs> Get it up there so we can see it. Look at him. Oh, he's smiling. It was a terrible day down there in Grey Down last week. The semi final looks. Like, he's just like a bouncing <laughs> lamb in a paddock, isn't he? <laughs> he's got his little head. I love you, Zach. Oh, he's so cute. I love you, Zach. All right. Now, speaking of props, now, props are an interesting uh, creature. They are. Yeah, they're a different breed. <laughs> and I think, um, I think more research needs to be done um, around props and how they oh, act. They in their certain, um, certain, natural habitat. Certain creatures in their habitat and their environment. Uh, but look, we've got one at Greytown. And uh, look, it's not the Greytown show, but th we know a few people at the at the Greytown Rugby Club. Most notably, uh, uh, the Tolu. lucid prop, Ototolu Fahamokioa, a.k.a. Donald. He was on the show last week and uh, and Tolu said, hey, thanks for letting me come on the show. How about you come over and I uh, cook you dinner during the week? So I took that as an opportunity to go and research a prop. And... Um, Here's what Tolu dished up for dinner. It was quite epic. For an entree, we had a pie, and then the main was – look at this, Charlie. This is brilliant. And a pie sandwich, and then for dessert, we had a pie. So, <laughs> What's this on top here? <laughs> oh, it looks little, like a swan. No, it's, it's, a, it's his little uh, it's his, um, garlic aioli drizzle that he puts <laughs> on the end of it. So um, Tolu, the master chef, he was pretty keen on his efforts. 
And um, I mean, this guy's a professional rugby player, so look, this <laughs> stuff must work. Look, look, look he's, there's a method to his madness. He doesn't just chuck a frozen pie into the uh, oven. He actually cooks them upside down on grill because no one likes a soggy base on a pie and then flips them halfway through and they come out crispy and crunchy all over. Fair and enough. Look, hey, we learn something new every day, don't we? we? Yeah, and, and this is the thing I want to research more over the coming months is the life uh, of props. Yes, the life of a prop. Okay, mm. keep it going. It's great. Now, I did get one of my undercover agents, Frankie, to actually go uh, snoop around his bedroom. And um, it just so happens that Tolu also has Cinderella bed sheets. Well, I don't believe that. It's true. No. So there is a soft side to these props. Anyway, I know there's a soft side to props. There's a soft side to props. But he has Cinderella you cannot bed tell me Cinderella bed sheets. It's his bed sheets. Cinderella bed sheets. No, that's uh, fake news, in my opinion. All right. Now, let's get into it, Charlesy. Let's get into the games for today. Uh, it kicks off at 11 a.m. There's two games. Pioneer uh, for the hotter Stefford Cup uh, versus Ekerahuna. And um, good luck to Pioneer on this one. Hopefully, they can come away with a trophy for this year because I think they deserve it. I think I do deserve it, Pioneer. They've, they've certainly made great strides this year with uh, their rugby in the Premier grade. Corti Whitaker and the management team there doing a great job. But Ekerahuna, they'll be, they'll be tough. This yep. is going to be a close game. It'll be free-flowing. Yep. Uh, look, I don't know. Who are you going for? I'll go for Pioneer. I'll Have take all season. I'll take Eki. Yep. I can't go against the Chook. Also, 11 a.m., the President's Cup final. This is a reserve grade plate final. Uh, East Coast versus Gladstone. Who you got on this one, Chodzi? Tight tussle between the two uh, farming fraternity clubs there. I think the Coasties uh, will probably just edge Gladdy. Gladdy actually are uh, not a bad third side, but yep. I'll go the Coast. Always go the coast. coast. Both these games are 11 o'clock. <laughs> and then the reserve grade final, the Ryan Cup, that kicks off at 1 p.m. today at Memorial Park, Trust House Memorial Park, ground number one. Um, Chodzi, what do you got on this? Master and Red Star looking pretty solid all year. Yeah, but Tuharangi have been on top yeah. of the table and they are a very well-drilled rugby side. They play a basic game plan, but it works um, with uh, relying on forward domination. Marston Red Star probably got a bit more flair uh, in their team. And I know Marston and Red Star with Chris Senior at the helm will want to win this game because if they do win this game, they have said out publicly that they will challenge, they they will challenge Martinborough yeah, well. in a promotion relegation match for the premier grade. So... <laughs> That would, be, that would be a massively exciting match and something we could promote uh, yeah. heavily uh, from a promotion point of view. I'd yeah. probably like to see Stars win, but Tuarangi, they're a hard nut to crack. So yeah. oh, this could go either way, in my opinion. Live stream uh, starts on this at 12.50. Uh, Brent Gear, Tony Lyford are in the commentary box, and I'll be running around annoying everyone on the sidelines. So tune in from 12.30 onwards today. With we'll your red jacket on. We'll, no, not with a red jacket. But, oh, come um, on, mate. Yeah, well, to, okay, I'll wear the red jacket. <laughs> But look, Boda, Boda and BG in the, in the commentary box, yep. what a combination. Yep. And uh, what a what a combination they were last year as well in the final. Yeah, it was a good, a whole lot of fun last year, so we're looking forward to it uh, today well, as well. Well, you weren't, but they were pretty good. Thanks, thanks, Charles. You were pretty shit, actually. Thanks. <laughs> you got to strike one. Well, okay, now we're talking about uh, the Moose Carpenter Cup final, Greytown <coughs> versus Carterton, and we're going to go to our first guest on the show. Um, let's see who it is, Charlesy. I believe it's... Uh, Tavita Isaac. Tavita, welcome to the show. Morena, Koto, boys, Satamaria, thank you for having me. Yeah, cool, Tavita. Now, I see that you're, um, you've changed your style at the moment and you're sort of trying to mimic a, a Lewis Bush with those glasses, mate. Can you tell us more about those glasses that you're wearing these days? Oh, uh, look, um, oh, it, it <laughs> just trying to look as smart as you, Persico. Uh, I don't know if they're doing the job, but that's, that's, that's the look that I'm going for, yep. Now, Tavita, uh, well, breaking news, of course. Uh, I don't know if m much of the public is aware of this, but uh, sadly, very sadly for you and, and the Greytown team and, and all the supporters, you are will not be taking part in today's grand final. Uh, <coughs> it's a devastating blow for yourself and the team. Uh, but just, just tell us a little bit about what went on there and, and um, what made you come to that decision. Yeah, um, obviously gutted uh, um, to not be able to lace the boots up and run out of the boys. Um, been um, battling with uh, a head knock uh, for the last few weeks that I initially thought was a concussion and um, tried to uh, do everything I can could to uh, get get on the field for Saturday. But um, yeah, unfortunately, after a, a few training sessions, couldn't shake the headaches, so I had to make the call um, on what was best uh, for me and my family and. Unfortunately, it wasn't playing rugby, but really looking forward to uh, tomorrow. Looking forward to uh, supporting the boys, and yeah, although I won't be with the boots on, running the waters, um, 
yeah, I can't wait. Yeah, Tavita, and your your input will be valuable on the day for Greydown. I know that. And, uh, yeah, look, I, I think this this whole issue about head knocks is very, very relevant at the moment. It is in, in the press a lot. And even in the semi final last week with East Coast, Cam Ravenwood and Brian Arnold uh, pulled out uh, due to concussion issues. And the message I feel uh, to players is, yeah, you've got to take it seriously. And I know we have a stringent process in club rugby around it, and I totally back this 100%. Um, I mean, this would have been one of the biggest games of Tavita's yeah, life, of course, yeah. but you uh, you have to make the right decisions for yourself, first and foremost, uh, and your and your whanau and your family and your future. So any head knocks out there, guys, uh, yeah, take special uh, notice of it and um, and follow those processes. It's really important. Yeah, yeah, well said, Charles. Hey, Tavita, we're going to come back to you shortly, but we're um, going to have a quick chat with our next guest, uh, Inia Katia, the Fijian flyer from Carterton. Inia, good morning, mate. How are you feeling today? Good morning. Um, pretty good. Um, looking forward for the, another game today, mate. Now, uh, Inia Carterton, uh, five straight. I think you've won five on the trot since uh, your last loss against Greytown. Mate, um, how are you guys feeling going into this one? Because uh, you, you get, there's a feeling of confidence. Um, are you boys up for it? Yeah, um, yeah the boys are... Um, they're looking forward and they all they got their confidence for the game this week because um since we start play for east coast we start getting a win we feel like we're getting better and better and better every single week so yeah the boys are looking forward and uh for the game today too uh today too now and speaking of confidence there will be brand new rugby balls used in this match and i've heard on friday some conjecture around uh Carterton about using these balls look can you make any comments on that? Are you aware of what's been going on uh, around the, the use of the brand new rugby balls for the final? Yeah, um, on Thursday training, we talk about, about that uh, ball because um, it's a little bit smaller than the normal one. And um, yeah, we, uh, we are hoping that uh, we got uh, three good ball, for the Gilbert ball. So hopefully we can take it in and swap it off. <laughs> oh, this is all swapping rugby balls. I mean, we've had Deflate Gate in the inner NFL. I mean, this could be this could be a controversial. Pesco, what are your thoughts? Oh yeah, it's it's getting that way, Charles. I think the game just needs to kick off, and everyone just needs. No, to no, Tavita Isaac, can, can you give us some comments on 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 your, the ball situation? Oh, well, um, I'd just like to know what any is, what sort of problem any has got with small balls. <laughs> What's wrong with small balls? <laughs> no, they, they they look like um the kids ball, like the balls they use the kids use for play. But it's a little bit smaller size than the one we normally use on the club season. So, so. might make oh, the difference if you use a small ball. So yeah. You guys might feel the same too if you guys come and kick it for the ball too. Yeah, no, 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 we've, we've, we've never Grayden, been Grayden, the same. been playing with them all season. <laughs> balls. All the small balls. <laughs> Okay, let's move. Let's, let's uh, move along, Charles. Do you get any more questions for these two? Well, look, I oh, look. They're, they're both um, been around for a long time, and uh, it's great to have you both on the show. Uh, shame Inia can't dance into the back line. Tavita can sort of go across and try and take you out, Inia. But um, I wish you all the best today, Inia, and your team. Um, I hope you don't win, uh, but I hope it's a great game. <laughs> Now, yes, now, Charles, Charles, let's 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 talk about the preparation because Thursday night um, you finally got to run on the turf. You've only had one training session on the turf this year. That's right. Um, it it was torrential rain. Yes, the, it was for the yeah. training session. Yeah. How long did that training session go? Oh, for? about fifteen minutes. Fifteen <laughs> minutes on Thursday. So, Greytown, not the best preparation going into this one. But um, injuries, I think, I believe you've got a pretty strong bench. Yeah, we in a pretty we solid lost, starting. We, we lost Davida. We lost Davida and Jeremy Cook, who was our forty-eight-year-old lock. Um, absolute inspiration to the team. He, he um, really did put in um, lots of yards during the season for Greytown. Um, started against Carterton a couple of times there, and um, it's, it's sad for Cookie that he can't be available. But Cookie and Tavita not available. We had a uh, twenty-five available for selection um, following that, so we had to make some tough calls and uh, leave out some very, very good players. So look, I know both teams will be well prepared, and Carterton are on the up, and uh, it's going to be a hoor of a final. Yeah, that's right. And any look. Uh, I believe Carterton's got a very, really strong side and it's um, been really hard for your coaches to pick 
the starting lineup. But you've actually started with that same starting lineup, I think, for the last five games now. Um, tell us who are some of the players to watch out for on the Cardinal side. Um, I think pretty much everyone, the whole 50, mate. And um, because everyone's played better and better each week, and it's hard for the coach to choose the starting 15, but doesn't mean the starting 15 you're the best, but sometimes the best always on the bench. They're the one that came on the field and lift the game up. So, so pretty much we got a pretty good uh, bench, uh, bench too. So, yeah. Yeah, thanks, and yeah, and very good point. Both sides got strong benches. Tavita, we'll flick it over to you. Uh, you know the starting lineup. You know the bench for Greydown. Any thoughts on uh, selections there? Oh, look, it's um, excited to see what they can produce. Um, fortunately for uh, you, Chelsea and Potsy, you've sort of you've got a you've got a decent amount of players to pick from. I know we haven't had that luxury in the last couple of weeks. Um, the last the last couple of battles with Carterton have been um, epic and. Really looking forward to both teams putting on the show tomorrow. There's going to be some um, great matchups from both teams. Um, looking forward to Inia versus uh, Cully. Cully's got a message he asked me to pass on to you, Inia, and that's he's coming for your neck. Um, I'm also looking forward to the matchup between the managers, T Mac versus Reese Scott, and probably uh, most of all, uh, looking forward to the matchup of the coaches, eh? Childsy versus Neil Rogers. Bit of a love hate relationship with those two, so. I got my eyes on that one for tomorrow. Can't wait. Yeah, well, Neil the Peel, he kicked me. He kicked me off a second five when I had my midlife crisis. Oh, I got really? in there. I couldn't get my favourite position. But well, that's right. I, it's I, 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 two clubs. I couldn't jump in there and just try and do what I want. I was an outsider. Charles, two clubs at it in the finals today. So yeah, there's no, there's no love loss. And look, the banter in the media this week's been great. Um, some things said in the paper from from both sides, but that's what it's all about, Pesco. You know, you, yeah, you got to do a little bit of digging and ribbing into each other. Yeah. Tavita, Tavita, let's um, let's just talk about uh, last year. Uh, obviously, it was pretty painful for you guys. Uh, we had a halftime interview together, and you went into the sheds pretty confident. If you're up by twenty points again going into the sheds, is there anything you'd change in that halftime sort of meeting that 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 you did differently from last year? Yeah, <laughs> you always got the good questions, Persico. Um, oh, look, last year. Um, hats off to Maris, you know, they, they taught us a really harsh lesson, but, you know, hopefully in that is, is motivation and a real learning for the guys that are playing in tomorrow's final, um, that it ain't over till the 80th minute. You've got to be clinical, you've got to execute both halves, regardless of the score. Yeah, I'll just add something there, uh, Pesco. We won't be going into the sheds at half time, so it's going to be completely different, hopefully. Yeah, hopefully. I think all you did was focus on um, getting the refreshments cool for the for the, for the 80th minute. But... Do, you want to, do you want to poke in the eye with a pen? No, no, I'm, I'm good, thanks. <laughs> I, I should have had some safety goggles like Tavita's wearing. Um, all right, guys, now, hey, Tavita, get that outpack if we're ready. Um, Charles, do you have any more questions for um, me and the boys? Uh, no. I think, look, both sides will be looking to, to play, play with the ball. Yep. And it's going to be open, open free flame rugby. So if you're listening to this show, get down to the park, pack the park. It's going to be a great day. There's four games of rugby. Get them behind your club, whatever team you support. Uh, but stay behind and watch this match. I think it's going to be a rugby. And make sure you get a toasted sandwich from the Offering Cafe at Moore Wilson's before you head down to the game as well. Absolutely. And all your timber from Tumu and all your real estate through Mark Charles at Ray White. And all your glass through Ziggy's. That's right. And for plastering and painting needs, go to David Isaac and uh, Inspire. Inspire. Mm. All right, now, guys, we've got the Pick the Score competition. It is $500 and a boombox. So you know the rules. Uh, uh, comments below. First in gets it. You can't reply to comment. It's got to be a fresh comment. Now, just on the rules for this final today, if it is a draw at full time, right, we go to 10-minute halves. If it is a draw after the two 10-minute halves, Greytown get awarded the trophy. Uh, that's the rules in this competition. That no, the that's the not top right. seed take it. Yeah. No, it is. It's most tries in the game. No, it's not. It's not, it's not a super over. Most tries. It's the top seed. Anyway, we'll confirm that on what a Bush Facebook page, but I believe uh, that's what I did read today, Chodzi. Well, it's changed from the semifinals because okay. the semifinals, we were told, most tries well, in the match. What, why it's changed for the final, I don't know, but... I suggest that I everyone suggest, reads the rules I suggest, because I just I read suggest them. that I better read the rules again. Yeah, I suggest that you read the rules because that's what I read today. Um, when did you read an, that? On an email I got through uh, from Tony Hardwood. Well, I haven't received it. 
So why is it going to you and not me when I'm coaching one of the team? Because I was trying to find out what to talk about on the show today. Crikey, Nora. Tony Hargo, you're listening. You better get that email through because that's different from the semi-final. Yep. I could be wrong, but I don't think so. <laughs> All right. Hey, we've got a massive day. charlesy has got to go and get his team sorted. I've got to go and get the live stream sorted. Um, Tavita, have you got any parting comment for us? Or any? Um, no, I don't. Good luck, Carterton. Um yeah, that's about it. Good luck to the G boys. I hope you get up, and I'm sure you will. Thanks for having me. Cheers, Davido, mate. We'll see you uh, down the ground today. Hopefully, you give me an interview. Inia, what do you got for us, mate? Final words. Oh well, um, thanks for the last for the invitation, and um, yeah, good luck for you guys too. Then uh, hopefully, Carlton come up back for the win tomorrow, mate. Yeah, they'll be me retired after that. Yeah, cool. Anyhow, um, hopefully we can uh, have a good time after the game too. And good luck to you both. Um, now, got Charles, what about your campaign? Look huge, after you, mates. Huge it's, this weekend, yep, guys. Huge this but, weekend. It's a big time of the year. There's lots of celebrations. But look, look after you, mates. You know, people are going to celebrate. Make sure that you're well organised. Uh, people getting out of hand, pull them aside. Yep. Check them in. Don't drink and drive. All right, yep. there's plenty of buses and drive sober and drug free. All about the What About You campaign this season and last season. Keep fueled for a good time. Get down to the offering, get a toast of sandwich. Yep, get the food and, in. And um, even drink zero, be a hero, Charlie. Well, if you're going to drive, you're the sober driver. Drink hero, be a, yeah. Drink zero, <laughs> be a hero. <laughs> Thanks for watching the show. It's going to be a massive day. And uh, see you next week. Thank you. Got it.